man, so right, so this boosty shit, right? So you know, I gave my opinion on this shit, man. You know, I, I was just watching it again, right? And I'm listening to Rilo talk, and you know, yada yada yada, man. Dog, listen. First thing niggas throw up when they fucked up, when they turn out to be rats or whatever. It's they throw, okay, I got money. I got a couple of dollars, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like the money make them feel better. You know what I'm saying? About, but there's no amount of money, bro, if you work with them people. And listen, I want to make this clear. When I say a rat, I'm only saying this because of these niggas' rules, right? Most of these rap niggas, which I don't understand how this YouTube street, it's fucked up out here. But all these entertaining niggas in the entertainment, the entertaining internet gangsters, they stand on business. They say you don't supposed to talk to the police no kind of way, right? Under any circumstances should you talk to the police. That's these internet street nigga rules, right? So when you break that rule under any circumstances and you, this is your rule though. But see, these niggas break and make rules, make and break rules all the time. Boosie do it a lot. You know what I'm saying? He pick and choose. So both of these niggas really in a fucked up position. Like I say, a lot of niggas can say that ain't nobody been arrested because of me. T.I. said ain't no niggas. And this might be true. But, bro, that don't mean you not working. Look, what do this nigga and T.I. got in common? The nigga out of Atlanta. They both got sealed files. They both got rumors of snitching. They both got lenient sentences for what they was really charged with. You understand what I'm saying? Um. So, yeah, a lot of so Ti to me, like I don't, I don't know. I'm not putting this. This is my speculation, bro, and this shit that I've seen, and I'm only doing this because this is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm, what I have seen is. A lot of niggas go to jail, bro. And they know that they not stupid. The feds know that, look, if anybody he know get raided at this time or get hit, they going to blame it on this nigga. But no, you worth more to us. Fuck just telling us what's going on. You can give us a few names. We going to watch them. We need you to get out here and get information on this, 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 and this. You don't know how many motherfuckers that been hit because of him. You don't know how many motherfuckers is being watched because of what these niggas done said. Don't nobody have to get goddamn. You can be working for these motherfuckers. It's something. How do you beat all these fucking gun charges, T.I.? At first, I was like, man, that's possible. But I'm looking at automatic weapons and this and this. You get caught dead on with this shit and you a multi-felon nigga. And you only get a year in prison. A year in a day is what sends you to prison. You can only go to prison. A year you in the county jail. A year in a day sends you to the penitentiary. Don't mean you're going to even do the whole year. You can do two, three months, come home. You know what I'm saying? But you going to fucking prison a year in a day. So I just don't understand that. Then why why is your, 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 your file sealed? Okay, now you get to this Rollo nigga. His own main man went against him. A nigga who was with him and listened to the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's not adding up. All the shit that the nigga said, bro, that when you hear before how they wanted them for murders, the nigga was saying it like they wanted some big niggas in your neighborhood. They wanted some niggas with their hair around. Fuck this weed shit. They wanted big shit. They didn't just want no weed. See, Rollo keep trying to make it out to be, they just wanted weed. All oh, this nothing but weed, a thousand pounds of weed. But you got to think, even back then, weed was bad, my nigga. They were still trying to slam you because you moving from state to state, my nigga. You still can get 15 to 20 years today. And weed is legal. I just seen a nigga get, what, eight to 10 years, some shit. 
Because you trafficking this shit. You know what I'm saying? You going to places where it's illegal now. So it's this, you know, you, you can get, t- listen, so you know if you can get 10 to 15 years right now for that shit. In today's time, when we, we damn near legal anywhere. So picture back then, nigga, weed was horrible. A thousand bowls, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You going state to state, then they got you on heroin. heroin. Man, it's a lot of shit they had this nigga tied to. It wasn't just no motherfucking weed, nigga. And then for them motherfuckers, it wasn't no just humbug pull over. They had to been watching you. Fuck you mean? They ain't just you ain't gonna just get pulled over. You know you when you tri- when you got a thousand and then what's the chances of you being in there with this shit? When you been moving all this time, you usually had somebody else probably do it for you. How all of a sudden they catch you and you've been doing this shit all the time? You know to make sure your goddamn lights all work. You know to make sure the, sh- the the tags right on the car. You know how to move, nigga. So how do they just mysteriously pull you over on this day and and search the car? Like what reason would they have to search the car, nigga? Here go my license registration, my insurance. Get the fuck on. No, nigga, he was being watched. That's why they. I'm telling you, hundred percent. Somebody already had put him on. So it was already a case brewing. I just seen a case like this with some rapping nigga out of like Florida or somewhere. They, the nigga got caught with $300,000 in a vet, nigga. They said because the, the FBI already was watching the nigga, right? Damn. The, the FBI was already watching the nigga. So they said, hey, told the, the regular cops, like, we need you to do a pullover on this vet. Boom, boom, boom. We need you to do, like, do something. Let's get a traffic stop on them. They did that. Somehow they end up getting dog out the car. I don't know how, but they end up searching the car, finding the fucking money. Boom, boom, boom. Dog didn't even think that the feds had nothing to do with it. They just had the money. They thinking it's just the regular police doing this shit, but all the time it's the feds working through them. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same shit, bro. They caught him doing this shit just off weed alone, not no murders, not no none of that shit, not no dog food, not no bricks of cocaine, just off the marijuana, nigga. They had been watching him, and it, it, the police even told him in the interview, he said, look, bro, either you can work with us, or, or or if you don't work with us, we got enough shit. You see how thick this file is? You know what I mean? Niggas that been in here talking to us about you. We know about everything. We've been to your mama house, hit the safe. We've been to your girl house, hit the safe. We didn't took money from here, cars from here, guns from here. So we got enough on you, bro, to 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 not even give you a deal, period. Like niggas, so but if you want to work, we can work something out. So my man kept it G. I I no. He ain't tell a motherfucker thing. Old girl ain't tell shit. But he still got, I think it was eight or 12 years or some shit. He still got in prison for mar- just marijuana. In today's time, 2024, nigga. So what the fuck do you think you're going to get back in 2015 for that type of shit alone? And you know you've been watched. I'm just giving y'all this. So anyway, man, I'm listen, bro. It's not me. This was y'all motherfuckers say. Y'all motherfuckers always be like, well, you a rat if you talk. Because if it was anybody else, you'd have been a rat. Now the shit with the nigga, I don't. But Boosie dead wrong. And this the problem Boosie having with everybody. Everybody. See, in today's time, even the biggest so-called gangsters that we once thought was gangsters. It's niggas coming out of nowhere calling them hoes and bitch ass niggas and all this shit. You see, because they know you can do that on the internet. Because you know what, what this nigga hands is tied. Like they know Gangster Williams hands is tied. They can call him out all his name now. Because they like this nigga ain't about to crash out. He doing too good. So niggas know that they take advantage of that. And they miles away. They like this nigga ain't about to come get me. Now my chance to disrespect and take. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these so-called gangsters getting called out on the internet and only be and all of them got something in common baby j prince um boosie all these niggas getting caught all type of hoes and y'all niggas ain't who y'all say y'all is and y'all bitch ass niggas and suck my dick all this disrespectful shit is being said to all three of these niggas and you know what they all got in common they talk too fucking much they talk so much that now they got to show and prove shit niggas out of texas like boosie fuck you you can't come here this 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 it's just a whole bunch of different beefs that's going on with this nigga that unnecessary he get on vlad and he say everything now one thing rollo was right about is boosie should have pulled him to the side if that's show man why you get on this why and then you go on the breakfast club still talking about this shit 
But it started with Vlad. He asked it. the same thing you did to T.I. on Vlad. You caught him all type of rats and shit. And that's supposed to be your fucking man. Nigga, you ain't call him and ask him nothing. You just go with Vlad asks you. Oh, this white man asked me this. Oh, I'm telling that. You go on that motherfucker won't shut the fuck up. But you select who you want to fuck with, though. Now, your boy QCP, that's your man. You got a certain respect for this nigga. But he clearly snitched. And you backtrack all on that motherfucker. That's why Dollface went in on Boosie, man. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about Rollo, what I was getting to is most niggas who fold and do bullshit, um, first thing they throw up is their money. But their money is what got them comfortable. Their money is what got all these dick suckers around them. Because, listen, no matter if he rat it or not, I'm not here to call him a rat. I just, I'm just looking at the evidence, what I think is my opinion. I think that, listen, in, in, in the laws of the street, you talk to them people, you read it. I don't want to hear about no nigga supposedly taking no case because I can't see a nigga about to do no eight or ten years for no amount of money. You know what I'm saying? Not a nigga who ever been to the penitentiary. Who the fuck going to go to jail? I don't believe that shit, dog. I just don't believe I don't believe that shit, dog. Now, I know it's some poor motherfuckers out here that don't, that think they don't mind doing that shit, but. I just can't see an average motherfucker saying I'm about to do any time for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, I understand it's my regular. I got to take the lick. Sometimes, yeah, you know, if we were to click, like the nigga would, uh, I understand a certain situation. This is my direct family. But when you talk about 10 years or more, nigga, I could be facing like a Rico or 10, man, get the fuck out of here. A year, two, three, four years, baby, yeah, if this my relative and I know he doing some legit shit. But the dudes, a street nigga, nigga, you might go to jail right behind me. How the fuck I'm going to do all this time for you? Your niggas got to think like that. Okay, I'm going to get this money from you. And I'm going to go do this motherfucking time. Five years, man, ain't, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I don't know. Okay, but if the nigga was or wasn't, man, it's just, it just like, bro. The law of the street is you don't talk to these motherfuckers. Or the law on YouTube the street niggas say you don't talk to a police by no means. And you talk to the police. You told them information. No matter was a real effect, you gave and you gave a proffer to them. You know what I'm saying? And one thing you anybody will tell you, bro, is you know anybody know you cannot you cannot outsmart these people. You never supposed to say shit. I don't really believe that story because if you wanted to put it on another nigga, your lawyer would have lined all that up. Like, listen, man, this is this the nigga y'all looking for. You know what I'm saying? Why do you got to get up there and tell these motherfuckers anything? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, your lawyer could have lined all that shit up. Like, look, this is who he giving you. This is what's happening. I, I'm representing them. You know what I'm saying? And whatever, whatever, whatever. Why is you talking to these people? Why did you give them your phone? It's a lot of shit that's like... How, how do they know about the big dope niggas in the hood and all? It's a lot of shit that they knew that they're supposed to be known that I've been watching this shit. But anyway, it go, bro. Money make motherfuckers think differently. If Rollo was a broke motherfucker, dog, he'd be all type of rats. And the thing is, no matter if he snitched or didn't, if Rollo wasn't Rollo, if Rollo happened to, they would have took everything, he wasn't coming home to all this shit. And he was just like a, a, a average nigga who been through some shit, come home, fall off, didn't have all he had. You think, nigga, everybody be calling them rats. Half them niggas around him would be calling them rats. But because he had money, niggas was like, fuck this. I don't give a fuck. This is how I eat. Niggas turn they out of that shit. I see it all the time. I see it every day on the streets, my nigga. I see this type of shit all the time. Nigga, rats get thrown thrown going away parties. Rats get thrown welcome home parties because they kill us and they got money. So who gonna, who, who gonna call them a rat to their face? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna say this type of shit to their face? Nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna uh, go against the shit that's, that, that, that's eating off that nigga? Nobody. But let that nigga come home with nothing. And no, don't nobody give a fuck, nigga. You ain't, you ain't got power no more. Without this money, you not powerful. So niggas will talk to you any kind of way, man. Just look at a real nigga like BG, a stand-up nigga come home. 
they thought BG was kind of fucked up. So a lot of niggas didn't believe that he was going to bounce back like this. So he ain't have all the dick suckers coming out. Because you know why? Because BG, they knew he was broke when he came out. They ain't know this shit was going to click with baby like that. That's why everybody, oh, he ready, he ready, he this, he that. They was fucking up his name. And he's a stand-up nigga. And I know he's a stand-up nigga. He been lived in my city, my nigga. Everything he rap about, he is, my nigga. We never heard no snitch allegations ever until he got out. Then you get these dick-sucking niggas want to get some views and start talking about him. And and um, that's when shit went bad, my dog. You know what I'm saying? But look, look how he bounced back from that shit. Once the money come, see, that shit could have destroyed him if he would have just been out here broken on his own. But once he got back with baby and that money started coming back in and they seen he getting his legs back up under him, man, it's a snitch world out here. Now, I'm not saying BG is stand-up nigga for sure, but it's a snitch world out here, my nigga. It's a rat world. It is what it is, dog. It's like uh, and these niggas make up so many rules. And don't live by none of them. And never seen a nigga that live by none of them. All these rules, don't snitch, death before dishonor, uh, uh, money over bitches, all this bullshit and that shit a fake ass rapper made, or these niggas get this shit from a movie. None of this shit is real life. I've never seen a nigga death before dishonor in my life. That's in movies. I'm going to die for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas die for niggas, but not, not in the way that you, not in the movie type of fashion. Yeah, these motherfuckers go to prison and everything for other niggas, bro. But it's not like what it's seen. And I tell you, all that no snitching shit that everybody's supposed to live by, I've never seen it, dog. And niggas talking about this money over bitches shit. The first thing a nigga call is a bitch when he locked up. That's all he gonna have is that bitch that he been dogging. They got his kids somewhere and he taking their car, running behind some niggas like a flunky doing stupid shit. Get her car took and go to jail and get her into some shit. Like this nigga that did the Fulio shit. <clears throat> Boy, these niggas is fucked up out here. These niggas is fucked up out here, dog. But like I say, the thing, I did this shit to talk about this shit with Boosie. The more I look at this shit, and his whole problem is, even with the police, all this shit stem from Vlad TV. I'm telling you, bro, all this beef with this nigga, if he never would have got on Vlad, Vlad would have never asked him that. He would have answered it. I'm pretty sure... If he wouldn't have said that at Vlad's, when he went to Drink Champs or whatever the fuck he was on. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Charlemagne, them show. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have said nothing about that shit. The reason he said something about that shit then, because Rollo had already answered from the shit. So he felt some type of way. Because Rollo was already dogging his ass from prison, giving statements. So he felt some type of way. But but if he never would have been asked that shit on Vlad, the shit wouldn't have came up on Charlemagne, them shit. You know what I'm saying? And if it was, he ain't going to talk on a nigga show like he do for this white boy. Believe me. He say any and everything on a nigga show. He did like he would have said what he's supposed to say. I'm going to keep that gangster. You know, that's between me and my man. No comment. Next question. But on this motherfucking Vlad show, this nigga like, oh, yeah, this, 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 this. Nigga, he telling he having niggas locked up, yada, yada, yada. That's some fucked up the shit to say about a nigga you call your partner. And you going off what a nigga say. I, I can go off that shit. I don't know this nigga. I'm just doing some YouTube shit. And I'm just giving a world perspective on... I'm just giving a perspective from an outsider how I look. When y'all niggas say y'all standing on business and y'all y'all don't supposed to talk to the police and you talking to the police, well, nigga, you going against your old rule, you a rat. I don't, oh, I don't know this nigga. So I'm speaking on that shit like that because you niggas made the rules. You niggas stand on that type of shit. I didn't rat shit. I don't talk to the police shit, but you talking to the police shit. And the shit not adding up what you're saying. You can pull that shit over everybody else's shit. If you want to have a conversation, let's have it. I don't believe that shit, my nigga. I just don't believe what you're saying. Ain't no way your main man is going to... And the niggas do turn against you, but ain't no nigga going to record you. And the recording damn near go correlate to what he said. And you didn't <clears throat> you didn't go in on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I tried to make it juicy and all that shit. Well, you tried to make it juicy. Then you talking to the people trying to make something juicy. And they didn't, they wanted you more than just on some fucking weed. They they couldn't get you on the other shit or they dropped the other shit for some reason and they only sentenced you for the weed. You was wanted in question of murders and heroin distribution, my nigga. Why you think they call you Mr. Dog Fool? I'm just being honest, bro. So don't act like you just went to jail 
you only went to jail for the fucking week and they maxed you out on that shit. Damn near. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you played with them. I don't know. But you talk to them people. But back to Boosie. That being Boosie homeboy, he shouldn't have said nothing. Even if he felt some type of way, that's your man. You don't go on TV and talk against your man like that. You know, because you look bad, nigga. If that was your homeboy, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to speak on it. A lot of people speaking on shit that they shouldn't be speaking on on this motherfucker, dog. Niggas putting a personal text out to the world to see, dog. And these niggas already rich, so it ain't like you got to do nothing to get views. It ain't like you doing some perped out shit to get views. You don't, you niggas is rich. Boosie, you got a whole career, Instagram, everything going for yourself. Dog seem like he getting a few dollars. And he not even the one who really, but he feeding into the shit, texting back. So it's like personal texts out to the world. This shit can end up bad than a motherfucker. The niggas ain't playing, bro. It's motherfuckers with nothing to do. It ain't nothing in this world but crash out dummies. We see that by all these little rappers getting killed. It's cr- and these niggas broke as a motherfucker. These niggas ain't got a nothing, nigga, but guns. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers ain't got a place to live. Nigga, they, these motherfuckers starving. They losing weight by the day, my nigga. They don't know where their next meal can come from. But these niggas willing to go kill some shit for no fucking reason. They ain't even robbing the motherfucker. You, you know... You, well, yeah, they are. Some of them. That's all they know to do is rob a scam. Ain't no niggas hustling no more. It's all about going. Don't no nigga want to do nothing but murder another nigga. That's the first thing on a nigga mind when he wake up. He want to bump into a nigga, get into it with a nigga in traffic, or have some beef with somebody for he can go show these other niggas that I'm the killer of the bunch. When all these niggas, when you go to jail, these same niggas that you trying to impress gonna call you dumb, ain't gonna send you a dime. And half of them, if they call or question, they gonna tell on you, I seen it. I'm watching it on TV, bro. I know how this shit works. So, like I say, I'm not speaking on this shit no more about this shit, this situation. This is it, I think. But I'm gonna try not to. But like I say, um... Yeah, Boosie dead wrong for this shit. He in the wrong for this shit, bro. He should have never said that shit about his partner. Just like Rollo said, man, you could have called me. A conversation, and maybe he could have clear, cleared it up. Maybe it is a reason. I don't know. I'm just speaking from an outside nigga. Maybe he could sit down and talk to you and give you more insight on what's happening. But like I said, even if he did turn out to be a rat, I wouldn't be out here to the world. You won't be. You know that's a street nigga. Rat or not, nigga, a nigga don't want to be called no rat. He don't want to be called, especially by you. See, he had all these other niggas fool, or he thought, <clears throat> and niggas, all the other rappers support him. Then one nigga go against the grain. Bro, that's fucking up his image. He had everybody fooled, my nigga. So now you going to come through a monkey wrench, and you supposed to be a real stepper, a real nigga, and your word, your word hold weight, and you say this about him? People going to try to run with it some type of way. If you saying he a rat, then your word is law because you a street nigga, right? The only thing that got him holding on by a thread is because, like he said, he got money, my nigga. So it's hard to explain, but Boosie was wrong, man. And he keep being wrong, and he keep doing fuck shit. Vlad, listen, dog. Vlad is going to be the downfall of Boosie. That's the reason why he got that gun case in the first place, nigga. And this the reason why this last shit happened again. Because he went right on it. If y'all don't see that because of Vlad, he, if Boosie don't see this, something is clearly wrong with you, nigga. Soon as you get out of fucking jail, you go straight to this nigga. And he talking about everything. He laughing with you like y'all homeboys. Like I say, nigga, Vlad say he been in your house, but I promise you, you ain't never been to Vlad house ever, nigga. Ever. I bet you ain't never been to Vlad's house, but you been to his house. I mean, he been to your motherfucking house, right? Being friendly to this motherfucker. He ain't gonna let a nigga in his house, my nigga. I bet a black person never been in Vlad's house. I damn that better, unless he fixing on something, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, bro, he don't fuck with niggas like that, unless he making money off of him or they doing security for him. He like Johnny Dane. He ain't real talk. The motherfucker don't give a fuck about no nigga if you ain't spending no money with him. 
or if you ain't protecting them or sweeping the floor somewhere, man, they don't get two fucks about you. And you not smart enough to know that when you got out of jail, this nigga asking you, okay, so now I, I can ask anything I want to ask now, right? The case is over, right? Can't be brought up, but he know damn well that shit could be brought back up. Vlad, not stupid. He already got the word. He already was told to do this to Boosie. So look, okay, so answer these real questions. It was that really your gun? Like, why would you give a fuck? Why would you ask them type of questions unless you're trying to incriminate somebody? If you beat the case, talk about beating the case and all this shit. Why did you have a gun in your back? Did you really have it? Was it really your gun? I mean, you know, you could tell me, you know, this nigga, I mean, you, any, and you call yourself a street nigga and you don't know that this nigga trying to put you in the trick bag. As soon as you half ass answer them questions. Not even a week later, they bring that shit back up. <clears throat> and if you think for one second they not about to use that Vlad interview in this trial, because nigga, at this point, if the judge don't overrule what the prosecutor say and they haven't yet, that means you're going to have to fight this shit in trial. That means, nigga, you spent all this money and you're going to have to spend some more money and you going to prison, nigga. If you got to fight this shit in trial, you know what I'm saying? You he only want actually, you know what looks so bad in trial and how the feds work. And that's why I keep telling motherfuckers to keep your mouth shut, dog. Like in this this Woody case shit, right? Niggas talking like, oh, I'm free from the state, but the feds can override that shit. You know what I'm saying? See, Boosie took a plea to the state. He pled guilty to this shit. So it wasn't like he was not guilty and I'm taking this shit all the way. My bodyguard, and this supposed to got threw out. Listen, it would have got threw out if that, if Boosie was clear of that shit and it was the bodyguard gun, it would, nigga, it never would have went to you got to go to trial. It would have been like, okay, case dismissed. The bodyguard said it was his closed case. No, nigga. They had enough evidence. They was about to take that shit, but they offered him a good deal. And so that nigga was like, fuck it. I'm going to take the little whatever y'all about to give me. I'm going to do that shit, and, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with it. Probation or whatever, a year, 30 days, 90 days, whatever it was, it was like some probation or whatever, and boom. So he said, okay. So when you take a motherfucking plea, everybody know you got to get up there and say you done this shit because you playing, you agreeing to this shit. So all that you don't talk to the police, never all that shit, you got to get up there and say that was my gun. So before they gave Boosie probation, and the judge never promised you shit. It just be on the table and your lawyer come with you and they kind of half as agreed. The judge could turn around and be like, no, I don't fuck. You know what? I changed my mind. But then that's when the, 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 the lawyer can back out too. Like, no, well, you said this, you're not going on it. Well, I don't know. But the nigga got up there and told what happened. Yeah, we was riding that day. The gun was on the seat, this, 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 and this. So the judge was like, okay, I, I accept your plea. You pleaded guilty. As soon as he did that, so you think these federal officers, when they came in the courtroom and got him right then, like, no, we taking this over. They already got, he didn't took the plea with the state, so you already pretty much said you was fucking guilty. Nigga, they play a dirty game. So how you going to say you not guilty when you just play it out that you're guilty? Even though you can say, fuck it, I'm going to go to trial on it. And you know this motherfucker prosecutor got it out for you. You know this motherfucker wants you that bad. So for the life of me, I just can't understand why you keep talking. I, and you, you know, why would you get on blast? Fuck that whole case. Don't talk to me about shit. Why would you even say anything, especially going, you didn't peep this shit, bro? I don't know what it is about Vlad Chairman, but let me get the fuck out of here. I'm through talking. Last time I'm talking about this, I think. Trap talk, bro.